Hello, good evening, you are. So you're welcome once again to my YouTube channel, guys. So in today's video, guys, I'll be dealing on trigonometry and I'll be dealing on a topic called trigonometry called sine. Now, what I'm what I'm going to be doing in this video is, is this. I will show you guys how you can find the sine of non-special angles without using calculator. I said I'll show you guys how you can find the sine of non-special angles using calculator. Now, is this this uh this stuff I'm going to do is going to be very awesome, guys, because most people believe that you can't find the sign of non-special angles. That you can only look for the sign of special angles. But guys, I want to show you a way in which you can look for the sign of non-special angles. So in case you're not with a calculator, you can use this method to find the sign of angles without a calculator. So guys, if this is something you're interested in. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to like the video also don't forget to share so without further ado let's get straight into the video of the day all right guys so this is the first one you have to look for the scene of 28 now the first thing i'm going to do is this i'm going to write down the formula which you are going to use in solving this so let me say you're looking for sine scene x for example i'm going to looking for a scene x the formula is scene formula is scene x sin x we equal to we equal to uh x over 10 then you have this these are the formula issues 174.4 minus x multiplied by x plus 1 over 120 then divided by 1000 now this formula might look uh, tedious in most people eyes or big but this formula is pretty simple to use i'm going to be explaining it step by step so that you get a better understanding so watch the video to the end so that you'll be able to understand every step of every step and also some things i'm going to say at the end so that you're able to get everything now this formula i'm going to explain it step by step for you now this first one is scene 28 i'm going to apply this formula in finding the scene of these two angles first so scene 28 degree so you have seen uh, 28 so seen 28 x represent 28 now i said x represent the angle which you are looking for so in this case x is going to represent 28 since we are looking for sin of 28 it's going to be seen it's going to be 28 over 10 then yes 1717 4.4 minus now since you have to, uh, you have if you look at this part here yeah, this part is being highlighted with green if you look at this part clearly you can see that i have x multiplied by x plus one now what this means is that the angle x is the angle which is 28 so you know that x is 28 it means that you are using 28 to multiply its successor are you getting me? it means i'm using 28 to multiply the angle after it which is 29 so i'm using 28 to multiply 29 then i'm dividing it with 120 so you can get that that is what that part means. then i'm dividing everything with a thousand so that is what it means now what i'm going to do next is this. i'm going to solve this so solving this 10 into 28 will be 2.8 this will be 2.8 then here will be 174 Point four minus twenty eight times twenty nine that we give eight hundred and twelve over one twenty. So I'm doing simple arithmetic divided by thousand divided by thousand. I'm going to solve this. I'm going to solve this now. So this will be two point eight. This will be two point eight. And we have 174.4. Now, if you divide these parts, if you divide these parts, if you divide these parts, it's under 12 into 120. If you divide it, you are going to end up having, yes, minus. If you divide, use 812 to divide 120, you're going to get 6.767. Then lastly, over one divided by one thousand means over a thousand. So let me just surface. So this will be 
2.8 times if you subtract these two if you subtract this to very well if you subtract it correctly you're gonna end up having one you're gonna end up having a uh, one c seven point c theory theory you can choose to approximate then you divide everything with one thousand one thousand so multiplying two point eight and this multiplying these two okay so if you multiply this 2.8 and 1c7.633 that will give 4c9 4c9.37 then i'm dividing it with a thousand that is equivalent to 0 0.469 372 I can approximate this to four decimal place. Can approximate this to four decimal place. Can approximate this to four decimal place. That will equal to 0 0.469. 0 0.4694. Now, if you want to confirm if this is actually correct, guys, let me write this for you again. 94. 9. For if you want to confirm if this is actually right, just take your calculator right now. Type in scene 28 and see what you are going to get. Just type in scene 28 and see what you are going to get. You are going to get 0 0.4694. This will actually prove that this method is even accurate. Very, very accurate. Accurate. You are going to get this. So this is awesome, guys. So you can see that you can take the scene of non-special angle to start calculator so the next one we have is is scene 21 guys so in a few moments we are going to we're going to look for the value of the other angle which is here let me show you that that is uh that is a uh, scene 24 we're gonna look for scene 24 in a few moments you can see that this is very awesome guys so if you watch the video very well and follow uh, a follow it step by step you see that it's not difficult just practice it and then you get a better understanding of it so i'm going to i'm going to do the second one which is scene of which is scene of 24 guys so stay true see this through the video so that you get a better understanding of it so i'm going to write down scene 24 now so you guys you can pause the video and write down the formula because in the next one i'm not going to write down the formula you can pause the video and write, and write down the formula but i'll just solve it so i already assume that you guys know the formula so i'll just use the formula to solve but i'll not write down the formula so i'm going to go into scene 24. now the next is scene 24 guys i hope you've written down the formula but if you have not done so i will just explain you step by step so the first thing is the angle i'm going to write look for scene 24 is the angle which is the angle which you are looking for 24. that is you are looking for scene 24. that is 24. 24 over 10 then i wrote 174.4 then you have a uh, 174.4 then i said that minus 24 times its successor its successor which is 25 times 25 over 120 then you are dividing it with 1000 now if you divide this 10 into 24 that will be 2.4 then this will be 174.4 now this one will be very easier to do because 24 times 25 is 600 600 minus 600 over 120 divided by 1000 you can see it's very simple then here you can use zero to cancel out zero then 12 can go into 60 that is 5 so it means that this that is 5 so i'm going to so it's going to be 2.4 then we got 2.4 we got 174.4 when i divided this i got 5 then divided by 8000 1000 so if you solve this correctly if you guys solve this correctly, 
you're going to end up having you're going to get this mm, 2.4 times if you use 174.4 to so if you subtract it from five you're going to get 169.4 divided by 1000 which is over 1000 1000 okay 1000 now this will be equivalent to 2.4 times 169.4 that is 406.56 over 1000 which gives 0 0.40 Four zero or uh, coming right to me. Let me write this again. It's gonna be zero point four zero five six. Wow, look at the accuracy. Zero point four zero five six. Zero point four zero five six. Now, if you take your calculator now, type in scene twenty four in your calculator, you're gonna get zero. Point four zero five seven. Uh, if you take a look at these two very what can you tell is the difference? You can see that they are almost the same, just little difference. You can see that this is very helpful, guys. So for those who don't know that you can look for the sin of non-special angle, this is a good way to look for the sin of non the sign of non-special angles, guys. So I'm going to take I'm gonna take just one final example guys to wrap it up for this video guys so just one final example to wrap it up for this video so guys this is the final example scene 12 i will explain the process again just follow each step by step so like i said earlier the first thing you do is you write down the angle which is 12 then you divide it by 10 and then you have these brackets here and you have 174.4 in case you have not written the formula, please go and read, write down the formula so that you can understand this part. Write down 174.4 minus the angle which you are looking for, which is 12, times its successor. Its successor means the angle after it, which is 13. I'm using 12 to multiply 13. Then I'm dividing by 120. Then everything in this bracket will be divided by 1000. So let's go. 20 into 12 would be 1.2. That would be 1.2. So this would be 174.4. And 12 times 13. 12 times 13. That would be uh, 156. 156. Then there you got 120. And there you got 1000. 1000. You can just decide, you can decide to divide, simplify this. Term straight if you wish to consider to simplify it straight, but I'd like to explain it step by step so that you guys will uh, get it. So this will be equivalent to to be equivalent. So this will be 1.2. Then you got 174.4 minus if you divide it, you're gonna get 1.3 divided by 1000. So this is going to be equivalent to this will be equivalent to 1.2 times if you should subtract 174.4 from uh, 1.3 that will give you 172.8. Remember that you are dividing it with what a thousand. Always divide with a thousand at the end when we write uh, over. 1000 so multiplying 1.2 and 172.8 that will be equivalent to that will be equal to 207 207.36 then lastly what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide with 1000 which will be equal to 0 0.20736 and I can approximate it and I will get if I approximate it I'm going to get uh, 0 
0.207 or 4. So I'm going to write this for again. 7 or uh, 4. Zero point two zero seven four. Now that's let me write the solution here for you guys so that you can see it more clearly. That would be zero. That's this would be zero point two zero seven four. Now you can see that this is very accurate, guys. So this is the solution zero point two zero seven four. Now this is very accurate, guys. Now you can pause the video and try it yourself. After watching the video, go and try it yourself, guys. Now, if you know that you learned something new from uh, you learned something from this video, guys, and you do love this type of content, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to like and share this video, guys. So this video will get to more people, guys. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. So have a great day.